So you're interested in a black pickup truck. Well, today I think I have the perfect one. So hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today I have a 2023 GMC Sierra 1500 Elevation, which sits in the middle of the trim structure. And as you can see, this one is a black on black theme. Now, if you're familiar with the 2022 refresh 1500 trucks from GMC as well as Chevy, these are going to be a carryover for the 2023 mod year. However, GMC did get rid of a few exterior colors and add a couple new ones. So the two exterior colors going away on the GMC 1500 are the Quicksilver Metallic as well as the Cayenne Red Tint Coat. And GM is replacing these with the Volcanic Red Tint Coat, the Sterling Gray Metallic as well as the Deep Bronze Metallic. And outside of this, there's just a few other changes for the 23 mod year, which I'll go ahead and put on the screen so you guys can go ahead and pause the video, read through the changes, and then resume the video. Uh, but most of the other changes actually pertain to the Denali Ultimate trim with a new wheel design as well as a graphite edition package. And as far as pricing goes, this remains relatively consistent with the refresh 2022s as well. I did find pricing might have gone up about $1,000 to $1,500 depending on the trim level and the options and stuff like that. However, pricing is relatively unchanged from the 2022 refresh. So with all this information in mind, let's not waste any more time and take a look at what the 2023 GMC 1500 Elevation has to offer. So the Sierra 1500 Elevation in front of us is finished in the onyx black with the jet black cloth interior. And as this truck is equipped with the Elevation theme as well as the black exterior paint color, this is definitely a black lover's dream. So if you like a black on black on black vehicle, this is definitely the package for you. Now up front of the elevation trim in specific, you will typically find a gloss black grill with gloss black accents. However, since this one is a gloss black paint color, it's kind of hard to distinguish what those accents would be. I'll go ahead and overlay some footage from a different elevation truck so you guys can kind of see what the differences are in terms of the gloss black accents. But all elevations will have LED projector headlights, LED daytime running lights, and LED turn signals with LED projector fog lights very low on the front bumper. Black tow hooks at the front with your red GMC logo, of course. They do have little kind of air deflectors on each corner of the front bumper to help direct air around the vehicle for better fuel efficiency and aerodynamics. Now coming to the wheels and tires, these are the Elevation specific gloss black split spoke design. They are 20 inch in size wrapped in 275, 60, 20 inch Bridgestone Alensis AS07 tires. So more of a street going all season tire. Now this truck has the standard trim with the kind of matte black plastic. However, you can option the paint match trim for a dealer installed accessory. You have the elevation badge on both of the front doors. They are gonna be heated mirrors, but there's no blind spot detection on this truck. Proximity entry on both front door handles. And this one does have the optional six inch dealer installed accessory side steps. So that is what those look like. Out back, you will find a 4x4 chrome badge on the bedside here. Partial LED tail lamps with incandescent turn signals and reverse lights. Of course, your corner step bumper like all GM trucks. Standard size tow hitch for the bumper pull tow with your four pin and seven pin plugins. Multi-pro tailgate is standard on this trim of the GMC Sierra. And of course, your elevation badge on the right side of the tailgate. Like I said, this is a very dark uh, package truck. So if you like black on black on black, this is definitely the truck for you. Let's go ahead and take a look at the window sticker so you guys know exactly how this truck is equipped and then we'll jump on the interior. So once more, this is a 1500 elevation with the standard 2.7 turbocharged four cylinder engine. The options that this particular truck has is three years of OnStar and connected services for 1500. The six inch black side steps, like I said, are a dealer installed accessory the spray on bed liner, as well as the onyx black paint color. So this is an extra cost paint color. That brings the total MSRP, including destination to $58,780. So stepping on the inside of this truck, once again, it has the jet black cloth interior and the elevation sits about three steps up from the base model. So it's not gonna have the base interior, but it will have the updated uh, refresh interior for 2022. So starting out here on the door panel, you do have soft touch uppers, kind of some faux wood accent trim here with some chrome bright work. Nicely padded armrest with some accent stitching, power windows, mirrors, and locks, and some extra storage down in the door panel. Coming to the driver's seat, this will have a power driver's seat with two-way power lumbar and the standard cloth interior. So we'll go ahead and jump inside and start it up. 
So immediately you'll see you're greeted to the fully digital gauge cluster. This is the same one found as part of the refresh for the 2022 model year. So obviously this is going to carry over for 2023 as well. This was definitely a huge update for GM's 1500 trucks. Brought it more in line with the competitors in terms of just the overall feel as well as the technology and everything like that. This is the same gauge cluster found in products like the Suburban, the Yukon, the Tahoe, stuff like that. And you can control it here on the right side of the steering wheel. So using the scroll wheels as well as the arrows, you can kind of cycle through the different menu options. This is highly configurable. I'm not gonna go through all of the options right now. However, there are many different pages, many different layouts you can choose. Uh, it's definitely a very nice upgrade over the older interior. So you have manual wipers on this truck, but you do have automatic high beam assist here on the left side. This is a column mounted shifted truck. So you have your manual shifter over here. And then of course a six passenger configuration. Leather wrap steering wheel, this is heated. You do have your collision avoidance distances there. You can set three preset distances. And of course your Bluetooth and audio controls on the right side. This does have the paddles on the back side to control the volume as well as some of the other infotainment functions as well. To the left of the steering wheel, you have your electronic parking brake, your four wheel drive, as well as the automatic setting for that four wheel drive, your drive mode select. So this truck has four different drive modes, including normal, sport, off-road, terrain, and then a tow haul mode here on the bottom of that button there. Gauge illumination, automatic headlights, as well as your fog light controls. So that is all down to the left of the steering wheel. Moving over to the right side, you have your new infotainment system, like I said, for the refresh 2022. This is a 13.4 inch screen, huge update, has built in Google Maps and Google Assistant functionality. Uh, this is definitely one of the better ones in the segment, in my opinion, just for overall functionality, as well as the features it offers. You have the trailering information, you have your built in Google Maps, like I said, the audio controls, wireless Android Auto, wireless Apple CarPlay, just a ton of great features via this infotainment system. Below that, you do have a row of physical buttons as well as a volume and power knob and a dedicated home button for the infotainment. So to me, it's nice that GM is keeping the physical controls. So you have your lane keeping assist on off, stop start, tailgate release, hazard button, traction control off, as well as you can roll all four windows down at once with the push of that button. There's your push button start to the left of the climate controls. Heated front seats in this truck, as well as dual zone automatic climate control, USB-A and USB-C integration. And you can see more of your chrome slash faux wood trim along the dashboard there. So like I said, this is a six passenger configuration truck, so you can go ahead and flip this up and fit someone in the middle seat. Otherwise, you have a lot of cup holders and extra storage here. So if you flip this up, some more interior storage there, which is always welcome in my opinion. Up top, you'll find a lighter colored headliner. No vanity light there, manual dimming into your mirror, but you do have more LED lighting up top here, as well as your OnStar and passenger airbag indicator right there. So pretty basic stuff here in the front seat, but you do have a lot of your necessary creature comforts, including this refresh dash, which is definitely one of the better ones in the segment now. So let's go ahead and jump in the back seat, see what the back seat has to offer. So the materials are going to mostly follow through to the back door panel. So you have soft touch uppers, soft touch armrests with the same accent stitching. Lots of storage down below and your same kind of faux wood trim here. Seats are going to be the same cloth, of course. They do flip up. You do have a little bit of extra storage below. And these seats do feature the same storage pocket in the backrest. So if you have something small you want to store in there, you can definitely do so. So here's a look at the dashboard. In the back, you will find rear AC vents, USB-A, USB-C charge ports, as well as a 120 volt wall outlet. So that is all nice to have in the back seat. Matte pockets on both of the front seats. Some more LED illumination in the back and little coat hooks on the sides. The seats are very comfortable, even though they are kind of this more durable cloth material. Center armrest with two cup holders. And this truck does not have the optional uh, sliding glass window in the back, but the glass is heated in the back as well as tinted on the sides. So that's all typical standard stuff in the back of the truck. As you can see, you have tons of leg room here. Uh, that's sitting behind my rough seating position and headroom's not a problem either. These crew crab trucks, definitely have a lot of interior space. So that is definitely not a worry as far as that goes. 
Let's go ahead and take a look at the bed of this truck. So like I said, this has the multi-pro tailgate, so you can put down only the top section if you would like, or you can put down the entire tailgate. That comes standard on most GMC trucks now, but that was formerly an optional package. So you can see this one does have the spray and bed liner that is optional. And with that tailgate, you do also get the assist step to kind of help you get in the tailgate. LED lighting here in the back. You have the 120 volt, 400 watt outlet on the right side. And since this is a factory bed liner, you get the GMC logo up front there. But yeah, pretty typical bed space. I would definitely opt for the spray in liner myself if I were to purchase one of these trucks. Let's go ahead and take a look at the passenger front seat. You will not find a power passenger seat on this particular trim. So it's just a four way manual passenger seat. But you do still have the dual glove boxes with this truck. So you have the upper glove box. You can see it is relatively small, but it is nice to have a little bit of extra storage space. And then the standard glove box down below is damped. No lighting in there, but a good amount of storage for sure. So that's gonna wrap up the interior on this particular truck. Let's go ahead and look underneath the hood, see what powers this truck, and then wrap up this video. So under the hood, you'll find the 2.7 liter high output turbocharged four cylinder paired to a torque converted eight speed automatic. This is the same engine that debuted for the refresh 2022. So the second half of the 2022 model year, this puts out 310 horsepower, 430 pound feet of torque, which is more torque than the 5.3 liter V8. That is definitely why a lot of people do think this is going to be a very stout engine. Now, some people are still a little skeptical as far as the reliability goes. And I have to admit, time will tell as far as that goes. But I think GM did upgrade some of the internals of this engine. Uh, so I definitely think it can handle the power quite well. Uh, we'll just have to see how reliable this engine is. So that's going to wrap up this video on the 2023 GMC Sierra 1500 Elevation trim. If you guys enjoyed this video or found it helpful, please hit that like button as always, as it greatly helps out the channel in these videos. Now, if you guys are not subscribed, make sure to hit that subscribe button, turn on your bell notifications, and check out some of the other videos I have available here on the channel. I have products from GMC, Buick, Hyundai, as well as Chevy. So if you like any of those brands or are interested in any vehicles from those brands, because chances are I probably have a video on that particular model. So since this truck is essentially a carryover from the refresh 2022 Sierra, there's not much that changed as far as the lineup goes. Again, I think this interior is definitely a huge update versus the older trucks um, in terms of the technology as well as just the overall materials and look of it. I think the usability of this infotainment is still as good as the older ones. Obviously it gets a new layout and new UI theme, stuff like that. But I still think this is one of the best ones in the segment, especially with the Google Maps and Google integration with the podcasts and app integration, stuff like that. So I think GM definitely did a very good job on the infotainment. And of course the digital gauge cluster is a nice bonus as well. If you happen to own a refresh 2022, let me know down in the comment section below how you are enjoying your truck in the new infotainment if you have it. Now also let me know which engine you chose with your particular truck because I know the 2.7 is the base engine for many trim levels. However, as you go up the trim structure, the 5.3 then substitutes in for the base engine and the 2.7 is no longer available unlike those Denali and the AT4 trims in particular. So once again, hopefully you guys enjoyed and as always, hope to see you guys in the next one.